Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a series of Save Me Disaster Battles. Uh, playing as Clan Scryer, we're going up against the Empire here. Now, this one here isn't a disaster battle, right? But, it's an important fight because if we do a bad job of this, or just auto-resolve it, we can't win the next fights. So, we need to win this one perfectly, and that's difficult to do. So we need to just take, like, absolutely no damage. Or if we do take any damage, we're able to, like, just, at the end of the battle, recoup our losses by taking on captive sort of thing. Uh, we've also got this reinforcing army over here. It's a pile of garbage. But we can use them as meat shields because they're not going to participate in the next battles for some reason. So I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, uh, the biggest concern here are just the artillery. We've got some better blows. We'll have to use them to try to get rid of it. But we'll just see how we go. It's also a choke point battle, which is okay, except for the map being very small. So it might be best if we actually just give up the choke point right away. Because Hellstorm rocket batteries have a lot of range, and if they start shooting at us, like, they, they just outrange us. We need to be using the menace below to get them. And if they, can, if they can shoot us from all the way back here, that's not good. So yeah, let's have a look. Uh, really hilly terrain, not ideal. And sometimes you don't need to hold the choke point itself. Oh my god, the, it's it's not ideal, but I'm going to position myself here. Alright. This is like the worst, like the, the least worst area to, to go. So, it actually confuses the AI quite a bit when you don't hold on to a choke point. Oh, I, I do not like this map for us here. In terms of, like, taking no damage, it's going to be really difficult to do. You know what, I might actually put you guys up here. I don't, I'm not actually a fan of Warlock Masters as uh, Commanders of Armies anymore. I used to be, but I'm not anymore. Uh, we'll really need to make sure that nobody gets up over here because if they if they rush over to the side here We just we can't shoot them that this hill here provides them with so much cover Yeah Tricky that's the biggest problem with the uh, weapons team doomstacks is if you get a bad terrain Even though like you'd think it'd be good because it's a choke point, but it's yeah, it's, it's actually not. Alright. I'll see what I can do here. Alright, so Carl Franz is on... Yep, okay. So the main reason why we stand back here is because it takes their Hellstorm rocket batteries forever to get to us here. And that's exactly what we want. Because that's the only unit I'm really concerned about. Everything else is a joke. Because I'm sure he would have positioned himself here and would have gotten bombarded a few times. Because if you have a look at their range, like, they're almost within range of us here now. And if we pop down a menace below now, they'll probably just turn around and route it straight away. So we kind of need to wait a little bit. While they're advancing... It could be good to pop down a plague, but he didn't put two points into it. Instead, he focused on fucking pestilent birth. All right, whatever. Should focus the points onto um, plague first before pestilent birth, or at the very least, do one with birth, a uh, pestilent birth, and the other one with uh, plague. So I'm gonna start throwing these down. Just as use them as meat shields. Oof. Wasn't very nice. <laughs> Alright, now they've left. Let's see, it's got the Sunmaker there. We'll go for that one first. It, eat up that we've got a nuke, but I would prefer not to use it. That's it. 
That's good. They're preoccupied. That's what we want to see. And if we could just get them to stop moving, it'd be a good opportunity to pop down a plague. So you've got this other army here on Force March. Okay. Okay, they're just standing still, that's fine. Alright, start moving back. Alright, how do we go there? Okay, the first one's gone. Take out the second. There we go, pop down a plague as they're advancing there. Those mortars aiming at escaping slaves. All right, that doesn't matter too much. Just, just, uh, just don't blow up too much. All right, here comes Gil. Do we have? Yes, we do. Helling Wolf Gale. Which we might have not even need because he's. Dying pretty fast. It's probably getting a little bit of friendly fire there. That's okay. So just slow him down. Yep, just keep casting on Skaven slaves. We don't care about them. Throw the, throw the Skaven slaves into the into the enemy. Doesn't matter about them. Don't need them. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure you won't mind as long as we get through the situation here. We need more magic though. Alright, Gelt's pretty much gone. So far, a bit of damage done to him, but that's okay. Because he's still got essentially full fighting potential in the next fight. It's just... Just won't have as much health. Now, part of the problem here is that taking the casualties on the Skaven Slaves here will lower our balance of power just a little bit. It's not worth a ton, but it just, uh, just hurts us a bit. Of, okay, where, which one's their mortar? That one. Alright, it doesn't matter. I thought it was our magic. Jeez, I was expecting a bit more than that. That's it, just... These guys here, like I said, they just don't matter. Enemy Lord's mooted. Wounded? Good. Good, good. Just keep throwing him in there. Keep them away from here. Want our main army to walk out of here with no casualties. It doesn't matter if we take a Pyrrhic victory or whatever. Good. They're just so bogged down fighting these Skaven slaves. They're actually being really useful for us. I don't care if we're in our own units. This is exactly what Skaven slaves are there for. Not my precious Skaven slaves. Well, co how could you? Ah. There's plenty more where that came from. Yeah, run these guys off the battlefield. What's this? Sigma Sons? Alright, cool. I reckon the army loss penalty is coming any moment now. And no damage done to our troops here. Just a little bit done to him. Yeah, just let. Uh, okay. 
there's not caring if if they die and also just inflicting needless friendly fire. We can stop now. Yeah, just... I think we can win the battle with the Skaven Slaves. Just let them do their thing. Should have put you on guard mode. I think they're trying to shoot this Sigma son over here. But they can't because Skaven Slaves are in the way. And they actually care about the Skaven Slaves' lives. <laughs> <laughs> We've lost a lot of troops. But they're all Skaven slaves. And like I said, they're not participating in the next fight. So it doesn't matter. Back into the fight, fuckers! Off you go. There we go. No damage, that's what we wanted to see. But Legend, you lost thousands of Skavens. No, I didn't. Uh, they don't count. They count as zero. This is the only number I was looking for. The fact that they took a third of their losses, I don't care. Not important. Because like I said, they're not participating in the next fight for some reason, and... Only these guys are, and the, the next one's the one we have to win. Alright. Uh, yeah, so just take the... Take a bit of food. So there's Archeon. Maybe... Oh, maybe it's because Archeon actually lightning strikes us. Maybe that's what happens. Because the... We're like right next to each other. Oh yeah, this campaign's going like shit. Here we go. Oh no, they are! Oh, he's got... Oh. Okay. Uh... This isn't how I thought it was gonna go down. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. Um... Uh, that's not how I thought it was gonna go down. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, this is actually very bad because I think this army was be behind us, which means we're coming in behind Archeon. Alright, 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 alright. Okay. This army here is not on Force March. Okay. Okay, okay. I think I know what I need to do here. I need to not control large army. Well, I don't know what's going to happen. That's the problem. This just wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> this wasn't what I was told was going to happen. It's because they won the other battle in such a perfect manner. Archeon's like, fuck, I can't do what I was going to do now. I have to do it a different way. Ugh. This is why you should always be the attacker. Don't wait for defensive positions. Uh, okay. I will control large armies. I have no idea where, the, where they're coming from. I have no idea. I thought these guys weren't supposed to participate in the next battle. Because I thought Arco and Lightning Strikes them, I don't know. But yeah, with our main army not being able to mobilize right at the start. Oh God, you putting this army here was actually a weakness for us. <laughs> it's not good. This is why I usually don't put two armies together. It's, ah! Alright, there's only one thing we can do here. There's only one thing we can do. If we if we deploy there, we are doomed. There's only one thing we can hope to do. Run! <laughs> Before any of them showed up. Alright, so what I did there was I sacrificed the army of Skaven Slaves, but the other army won't have taken any casualties at all. If Oh my god, look how much damage we did to Archeon! <laughs> Okay. 
Oh, that's, a, that's a notable sacrifice. But yeah, the other army here, no damage. Now that only works if you concede defeat the moment uh, you start the battle, because they're still technically off the battlefield. So if Archeon wants to attack us again now, he can. Is he going to? I know I just sacrificed you, you bunch of Skaven slaves. Ha! Huh. That is the most Skaven outcome ever. We won the situation by losing! <laughs> Your army is fine. Absolutely fine. What are you doing in enemy territory like this? The gods deny such action. We won the situation by losing. Oh, but Legend, you lost him an army. Pfft, you call that an army? It's more like meat. Just it was just meat. Uh, okay, so it's been annoying. How would we handle this situation here? No. Uh, what you would do is. Because you want to kill Archeon, right? Yeah, obviously. You don't want to give him a chance to recover. So, what we would want to do is actually beat this here. Knows who his boss is. Hmm. Yeah, you need more points put into Plague. No malice detected. Very nice. Okay. What's your ambush success chance? What? 65? Oh, that's bad be why. Bleh, you should you should get the ancient cunning first. Well, you know. It's up to you, I guess. Um knows who his boss is. Alright. So this is a bit of a puzzle here to solve. There's a way to handle this. Now that the, the ball's in our court, how do we kill the ball? That's the big question here. How do we get the ball? Okay, we have to we have to figure out how we're we gonna kill them all. So we've t we've solved the disaster situation, and now we get to have some fun. So um, we've only got so much movement, right? What we could do is sack Salzman, because Salzman is blocking us from getting here. If we go do it that way, we should, and also give you a chance to. And if hang on, if we do, if we do it this way, let me just have a look here. The Hellstorm rocket batteries. Okay. What's your chance of ambushing? 71%. Mm. Is this one cunning as well? No. Is this one? Right, you, you had one cunning. Alright, so there's a reasonably high chance we'll ambush that one. It won't use up that much movement. Alright, do that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, we have to fight it manual. No, we don't. Do we? No, we don't. Yeah, we do. We got, we got it because of what we're going up against. We need, if we take too much damage here, it's going to be a problem. There is a very, very, very slim chance I can manage to heal that plague prince, uh, plague priest. But we have to gain two levels up in order to do that, and I have to be very careful about movement range. Now, if we order resolve, they'll probably end up taking a lot of damage. So yeah, we kind of need to fight it manually. We can obliterate them instantly. It's not a problem. So which one is it? there, Mortars? Okay. So just straight away, pop down Menace Below's on them. This battle will be over in a split second. See them very well. That's okay. Okay, mortars are gone. And I'm pretty sure this battle already lost. Uh, this, sorry, this army has already lost. It was one of those ones. So we only need to win here. We don't need to wipe them out utterly. Yeah, keep them back. And hopefully we've walked out of this with zero damage because yeah we got to get RK on
Yeah, that was a bad place to put the rattling guns, actually. It's alright, army losses are coming in. No one died. It's all good. I don't think these guys here took any further damage. Yeah. We just gotta be careful of auto resolving, because sometimes you can just it just pick away at you and you've got a lot of battles to do. So we've now got to do that siege at Salzamund, because there's no other way around it. If you want to get rid of Archeon, we have to do that. We, I mean, we want to get rid of Archeon and the Empire. Because if you... We could have taken out Archeon. Well, there was a chance we could have ambushed him. Um, he probably would have fought anyway. I win. like I said, it'll level your dude up. Nah, there's no way we're going to get them to rank 16. Because if you put them on a mount while they're out of the army, they'll recover all their health. Uh, short of them actually getting a health potion in the next battle. It's not going to happen yet, but let's get that ambush success chance up. This rat is no fool. Mm. Alright, this Master next battle over here shouldn't take you. too long. But yeah, of course it has to be fought manually. <sighs> you look at that and you'd be like, just auto resolve it, but Kill it's the next battle gold. that comes after it. That's the, what, that's the whole reason we're doing this. It'd be funny if I send the email back and be like, Hey dude, I won the situation. Your army's perfectly fine. But your army full of Skaven slaves died. Oh, Legend, how could you? <laughs> Why would you do that to me? I don't think you'll care. Trust me, if I don't care, you probably shouldn't care either. Just get another one. Didn't look like that other lord was high level. Alright, I want the Warlock Engineer to actually tank it, because he's the person who's going to take the least amount of damage in the next fight. So if he's a little bit damaged now, then it's not going to matter at all. Okay, don't stand too far back here. Alright, we'll get through this quickly. Jeez, your Winds of Magic Reserves are rubbish. Do you not have any knowledgeable heroes or lords? God, by this stage of my campaign, I should have at least 300. Oh no. Take Taking damage just a little bit. It's, it's okay, it's just a little bit. It'll be alright. Yeah, it's just this area here, I can't actually move there. Are we still taking damage? No, no, we're okay. There we go. We should be safe there. They can technically shoot through the through the walls. But these guys will get the other point that they need to make Plague a little bit cheaper, which might help against the Warriors of Chaos. Just a little bit. If we destroy this section here, it'll guarantee no more guys come up here to shoot at him. Uh, I don't think this targets units that are on walls. Yeah, it doesn't. Just on. Okay, whatever. It's not super important. Okay. No guns here. He's safe to move up to this point. Okay, and bringing in the Poison Wind Mortars to deliver the final blow should be good. We shouldn't need to worry about their lords and heroes. It's important to wait until they stop moving before casting it. If you want to inflict maximum damage. Alright, I think we're mostly missing that. 
Yep, stay away from the guns. Okay, don't waste too much ammo, or else the army loss penalty might not be inflicted if we yeah, if we waste too much. So at the moment, I'd say we've killed off about two thirds of them. All right, now the poison wind mortars, they're good for just cleaning things up. Really need to primarily get rid of those handgunners, then we can have a little more mobility here. Okay, that's good. I think the handgunners are completely wiped out. Cool. Oh, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We should cast a plague on those guys first. Because it's actually not too bad against them. Just thin them out a little bit before we use something that we have a limited amount of ammo on. If it was eight wins of magic, we could have gotten way more casts of this off. A lot quicker as well. Oh shit, they're shooting at us. Well, since we're just going to sack the city, it, uh, any casualties we take will be fine anyway. Yeah, gotta get rid of those handgunners. Okay, gone. And we are out of magic. Yeah, we're not getting any more. Okay, I've only got a little bit of ammo left. We have to hope that the army loss penalty gets inflicted before we run out, which we should be able to do. If we could just get a couple of good shots in. Still got eight shots left, so there's one over here. One volley for them. Yeah, that wasn't that good actually. One volley for you. That'll be worth a fair bit of balance of power. Another one over here. There we go. Alright, all good. Easy. We actually took a little bit of damage, but it's okay. But no casualties. Because look, as long as these two here, they don't die, it doesn't matter if we took a bunch of damage. Our army is essentially at full strength. My plan schemes always best. Yeah, just suck it. Good thing too, you were running low on money. And we'll use up, like... Far less amounts of movement now because we've we've eliminated their zone of control. If we have a look here, 81% chance of ambushing. No put those points into plague. Oh, we put it into earth thing. We never overcast. Whatever. Oh, but should we warpstone token? It's not really going to matter that much in the next battle because it probably sh it shouldn't last that long. Would have been useful in this one, and we got a forbidden rod. That's on the general. Okay, we can use that. It's okay if he takes damage, because he's not going to be put on the front line. And... Time for Archeon to die. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. Well, I thought... Auto-resolve can sometimes yield really wonky results. Uh, yeah, we'll fight it. We'll fight it. This why it's so important. Be the attacker. Don't leave yourself... Like, what were you doing in enemy territory? Standing in front of Salzman. Like, what are you doing? Alright. So the first things we really need to get rid of are those hell cannons. Um, the terrain is acceptable. If we stand here...
Like, these guys here are going to take ages to get to us. And Archeon's up the front. His speed, 78. What's his ward save? Is he unbreakable? No, he's not unbreakable. So if we destroy his entire army, then he'll just run away. You put this bunch of dirt here. It's in the way. It's going to block those shots. I don't want to get any closer. In fact, I want to get further back. Actually, no, this, this is okay. This is okay. It's a good spot. Alright, let's move them just back a little bit. This one here might have slightly obstructed shots, so maybe move them over to here. Alright, everyone goes on guard mode. And you can stand there. Doesn't matter if you're behind the hill, because you have mortars. Alright, we need to put the smelly boys down over there. Oh, I didn't even get one of them. Whoops. Alright, you stand behind them. Gonna need to pop this down pretty early. Yeah, look, the fact that, like, getting stand or die when I'm with a weapons team. <laughs> I don't see the point. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to stay here this time. And let's do the dirty. Get in there, don't let them shoot. Okay, I want you to shoot at that. Rattling guns will handle the summoners of rage. You need to be shooting at infantry. Okay, that giant is dead. Pop one of these down right in front of them here. Pop this here. Could use a nuke. I don't think we need to though. Still one of their things here. This guy here is taking too much damage. Get him out now. Oh, I need some more magic. So, where is Arco on? I don't know. I don't care. Just leave me alone. Just don't come near me. There he is. Yeah, you get back. You get back. Because if we get through this battle here, I can get you back up to full health. It, just keep them busy. There we go. And I believe that is another zero casualty battle. Good stuff. Yeah, just do as much damage as possible. We took out all their fast units, so the next one will be absolutely easy. We. Probably could order resolve it, but since we've gone four battles now with zero casualties on, on this army, kind of want to go for five. We, we didn't take any casualties in any other battles, right? Apart from the Skaven Slaves, fuck them. Of course, it was a close victory. All right. So yeah, we'll show you this new exploit. Well, it's not really new, it's actually the old exploit on how to heal your heroes. They just have to have a mount. So, <laughs> dwarves once again get gypped.
My plan seems always best. <laughs> well, since you're not taking casualties, I might as well take the money. Upgrade. Yes, yes. Alright, and now we've got more than enough movement to finish the job. And he can't run away. Ooh, immune to psychology. Alright, so here's what we do. Take him off. Put him on a plague furnace. Oh, yeah. Now, if you do that while he's in the army, he, he won't actually recover any health. So just keep that in mind. Oh, yeah. Delicious. Uh, I like my lords on my warlock masters on Doom Flayers. But I also like Ancient Cunning. It also, it doesn't work for him. It doesn't work for lords, it only works for heroes. How'd you go with this stuff here? Yeah. Can't believe you didn't focus on that. Gotta get that campaign movement range. Funny how the odds seem worse than it was in the previous battle. Alright, look, we'll fight this manually. Because I want to tell him in his email that I took zero casualties. You know, I did lose an entire army, but that's okay. That's what it's there for. That's what the Skaven Slave Army is there for. <laughs> it served its purpose. It did the exact same... It did the exact thing it was supposed to do. It's all part of the plan. Alright, where are we? Where are they? Over here. Okay. That looks like a pretty good position for us to shoot at. If we could deploy here. Or... No... We don't want to be anywhere where they've got cover. Well, what's Arkham okay, going to do? Shoot fireballs at us? Uh, he might, but if he does that, we'll take a casualty. I can't have that. But not if I put down menace belows and stuff in front of him. Oh, is, I want to set up. I want to set up right here. This isn't ideal. If I set up here, we're shooting up a hill. It's not good. There's really nowhere that's a good position. Yeah, there's absolutely nowhere. It's a shit map. Yeah, there's a good thing they've only got like a couple of troops. What a waste of time. Like sitting here. Could have just auto resolved it. I just want to take zero casualties. Come this far. Let's do it. Uh, I probably shouldn't do that. Because, like, I'm not in range of any of our troops anyway. So, speed's 92. That could outrun Archeon. Yeah, alright. We'll get Archeon to just rush at it. And then move forward a little bit. Because it's a fucking awful position. Oh no, he is going to fireball. Can we, can we dodge it? Oh, he's not aiming for us. Yeah, I can't touch that. Oh, they missed anyway. How about that? Just use a couple of zaps close to him. Oh, shit. Watch out. Alright, good. Archeon's had enough of our bullshit. That's what we want. That's not gonna do any damage to him. Just don't bother. Yeah, even if it does hit him, it just doesn't do much. So just keep him bogged down. Problem here, though. Can't, oh, no, 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 no. It's going to hurt our own troops. Problem is, though, can't shoot him while he's fighting like that. Oh, how do you dodge all that? Oh, well. All that ward save is really coming in handy for him. I don't have any spells that are good against single entities. Oh, okay, hang on, we're doing some damage to him. Okay, yeah, yeah, just 
Get out of the way. Stay in reserve. Yeah, Giselles don't actually do magic damage. Oh, is he resistant to fire? No. Okay. That's it. We still just want them to be able to shoot him from that distance. Almost got him. I need to lure him a bit more over here because the terrain is not super favorable there for the Jezzels. They're going to have a hard time hitting him. This <laughs> is so silly. Alright. I don't think they've done any damage at all to our main army. Okay. Rattling guns are about to lay into him. Oh shit, he's gonna hit my guy. Ah, oh, he did some damage. And a little bit of friendly fire, it's okay. Because I struggle to see how he's gonna get out of that bog. And he got out of it. Oh god, he's tanky. So there's his army losses. But it looks like he'll get away again. Doesn't doesn't matter, he's, he's gone this time. Oh, hang on, or is he? Is he? Uh, I don't know, I don't... Uh... Yeah, he's just got so much ward save. If he gets out of the way of the Jezo, uh, the Rattling Guns, they're just... He's gonna run off really quickly. Look, he's gone anyway, good enough. And once again, we took no casualties. And he's gone. And that's the end of the Warriors of Chaos. Oh man, am I winning the entire campaign for you or something here? Alright, and... Wow, is that the last settlement of Reichland? Oh wow, holy crap. Well, this one here is still recruiting, but he couldn't possibly get that many. You'll easily be able to retake that next turn. And you're pretty much at full strength now. Well, yeah. Anyway, I guess that's the end of this situation here. Um, I think we solved that reasonably well. Shame about that other Skaven Slave army, but the alternative was taking a crap ton of damage and possibly even losing this army. So sometimes you just have to sacrifice something in order to save something more important. That's how it is. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time, fuckers.